What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com and today is actually going to be a shorter video. Not a lot of news came out yesterday, but there was a few nice gems that leaked as well as some things to look at. So we're going to go over that right now and let's jump into the news. If you're a fan of the Adidas Yeezy 500, then good news, there's another pair dropping. This is being called the Ultraviolet. Now, as you can see, this pair features purple throughout, kind of a peanut butter and jelly look to it because it also features a gum outsole. As for the uppers, they're constructed with mesh as well as suede. Now, this image here is actually a Photoshop created by Yeezy Mafia, who I just checked is banned on Twitter or suspended, I should say. I'm not sure really why, maybe it was that whole back and forth that he went with Kim Kardashian but either way this pair is set to drop sometime in fall we don't have a set release date but it's said to release alongside Yeezy season 7 retail price will be 200 we got a new colorway of the Nike LeBron Soldier 12 that leaked this pair pays tribute to LeBron James High School, St. Vincent, St. Mary, and it's known as SVSM Home. It features a predominant white colorway as well as green accents. We have a little bit of gold. They also feature the Dunkman logo on the heels along with the SVSM logo on the insole. Currently, a release date isn't known, but they should become available soon. Here we got a preview image of three upcoming off-white Nike Blazer Studio mid colorways. Now the first one will feature a canvas and pale yellow color combination, and they're expected to drop sometime in July. The second pair will drop in September, that comes in black and white, and the third pair features gray and black. Now that pair doesn't have a time frame, just expected to drop sometime during summer. Specific release dates aren't available for all three, nor is there a retail price, but there will be more information coming soon. Official images of the acronym Nike Air Vapor Max Mach 2 in Black and Volt has leaked, and this is the second release out of three to drop. Now, as far as availability goes, I'm not 100% sure on this pair. I do know they drop on April 26th. Retail price will be 225. I'm not really a fan of the whole mock look. That's just me. However, the color combination along with the speckled detailing, I do like that. Last but not least from Nike, I hope you guys aren't getting tired of the off-white Nike collaborations. And there's another Air Force One low set to release later this year. Now, the image shown on screen is actually a Photoshop, but they're expected to look somewhat like this. They are going to feature a Volt, Cone, black and hyper jade color combination and dropping sometime during October of 2018 retail price will be 170 now one thing I wanted to ask you guys because I've noticed like the blazer is getting several colorways the Air Force One the Vapor Max has gotten two so far this year and the Air Jordan 1 hype aside what are your guys thoughts do you think they're going a little bit overboard with the off-white collaborations or are you happy to see different color variations on classic models as probably most of you know jordan brand is releasing the air jordan 9 mellow on april 27th now images leaked of the shoe and the whole press release of it before i return to youtube so you guys probably already know the rundown on it but we do have a few additional images provided by carmelo anthony himself on instagram yeah that gives us a little bit of a better look Look, but this image what I'm more concerned about and more excited to see is what's on his feet and as you can see he's wearing the Air Jordan 2 Mellow now the shoe was rumored to release this year however we have yet to see images and they probably are still going to release I haven't heard any additional information but they're expected to drop sometime during May of 2018 now that's not even a month away and we have yet to see images so in my opinion they're going to probably release later on now some of you might be saying that this pair is probably the original release which took place in 2004 and that did cross my mind. But if this is a dead stock pair and he wore them from 2004, there's a very high chance of them crumbling due to age. And this pair looks really, really clean. Now, it's also possible if he wore them throughout the years, one time here, one time there, this could also be the original release as well. But if I had to guess, this is the retro we will be seeing later this year. Yesterday, an image landed on Instagram showing us a group shot of the Air Jordan 1 Six Rings collection. This includes the yellow ochre, blue moon, clay green, and the track red. On the insoles, there's a number six as well as the trophy, and that obviously is for him winning six rings. In addition, there's playing cards. Now, somebody started a rumor, and yes, I wrote about this a little bit, that the pack is inspired by Michael Jordan's competitiveness when it comes to playing cards with his teammates. I'll get to that in a second but it's kind of hard to believe that would be the inspiration. Now, what I thought previously, these were the colors of the teams that Michael Jordan beat in the Chicago Bulls. 
to win his six rings. There's a bit of a problem with that. So the track red pair, that could be for Portland. The yellow oak gray pair, that could be for the Lakers. The blue moon for the Utah Jazz. And the green pair for the Seattle Supersonics. But there's one colorway we're missing and that is the Phoenix Suns. And I don't see that in this group, nor is there a color description for a purple and orange pair. Nothing along those lines. Unless there is a surprise release and that hasn't been leaked yet, but I doubt that as well. Back to the playing cards thing. Most of you guys know I love when shoes are actually tied into history, especially when it's Jordans. I feel that can make a shoe a lot more appealing. However, if this Six Rings pack is inspired by his competitiveness of playing cards with his teammates, I feel that's a very far reach. And I feel that the people at Jordan Brand now are going a little too far with their storytelling. Now don't get me wrong, I like each shoe in this collection, but I feel that that's kind of a lame story. Which brings me back to not believing that is the real reason or the real inspiration behind this collection. Now with all that being said, all four pairs are dropping on May 1st and the retail price is 160. And that recaps the news, like always we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. So what I'm feeling from this video, I don't like the Yeezy 500, but I do like that color combination. I don't know why it's really appealing to me. Maybe it's the purple on the suede. I'm not really sure. I like the Air Jordan 9 Mellow, but I like the Air Jordan 2 Mellow a lot more. I remember I bought two pairs of the Air Jordan 2 Mellow back in 2004. One of them, I, I destroyed them on accident trying to fix the car, fell in oil and got on the sides, bad story. The second pair, I wanted up trading for something, I don't even remember. Now every colorway from the Air Jordan 1 Rings collection, I do like, but if I had to pick one, that would be really hard, but I'm thinking it might be the clay green. Yes, I'm a huge fan of blue, but that does it for me. Make sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you liked or what you disliked from this video. Thanks for watching, stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com, and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.